Hola, muy buenas a todos chicos y chicas y bienvenidos de nuevo al canal, soy Tony Balbuena y aquí os traigo como os prometí la semana pasada y lo prometido os deuda, el primer episodio completo en un solo vídeo de la primera temporada de Marvel's Guardianes de la Galaxia de Telltale Series. En esta ocasión vamos a rejugar el episodio y vamos a tomar decisiones distintas a las que tomamos en la serie principal que tenéis en la descripción del vídeo y así podremos comprobar todos juntos con nuestros propios ojitos si la serie, eh, si digamos el, la historia cambia tanto como quieren hacernos creer desde el propio juego o si los cambios son simples. Vamos a comprobarlos todos juntos. Recordad que en la descripción del vídeo podréis encontrar un montón de información sobre el juego, la ficha técnica, enlaces, eh, tanto a redes sociales como al resto de contenido que tengo subido de juego al canal, la serie principal, la serie alternativa y todos los episodios según los vaya subiendo. Antes de comenzar, solo una cosita más, os comenté en la serie principal que existía la posibilidad de que sorteara un código para descargaros el juego desde Steam si veía mucho apoyo en la serie principal. La serie principal no ha tenido el apoyo que yo esperaba, por lo tanto, de momento no, ver, no va a haber perdón, ningún sorteo, veremos si lo hacemos próximamente, una vez dicho esto chicos, vamos a empezar eh, con el primer episodio, que se llama Enredados en la melancolía, lo vais a comprobar a continuación, de hecho aquí lo tenemos, lo dicho, empezamos y vamos a comprobar si realmente la historia cambia o no, vamos allá Y bueno, bueno chicos, ya estamos aquí de nuevo, comenzamos y como ya hice en la serie principal, aprovechando que suena un tema con copyright y no quiero tener problemas, voy a comentaros una serie de cositas sobre esta música. Básicamente, eh, tenéis un enlace al vídeo con el tema completo en la descripción del vídeo, por si queréis echarle un vistazo. El tema se llama We Can Touch It y es de un grupo británico de punk rock de los eh, del 76, creo, 76, 77, que se llama The Booth Cooks. Por si os interesa, echarle un vistazo y disfrutar del vídeo sin escuchar mi voz por el medio. Estas cosas son necesarias si queremos evitar problemas de copyright en cuanto empiecen a hablar. Yo cierro la boquita, que va a ser en 3, 2, 1... ¿Dentro? ¡Qué bueno soy! Bueno, vamos a empezar con la primera decisión que tomemos, a ver si es distinta, ¿vale? No tengo que hacer nada. What's in it for me? Uh, we, um, well, we'll expunge your past crimes from your record. Uh, hijacking a star blaster on Xandar? Sounds pretty fair. You've got yourself a deal. Ah, oh, I'm relieved to hear that. Okay, here's the situation. We tracked Thanos to this Kree planet, but when our fighters engaged, he decimated our fleet. Without your help, he'll kill us all. We're no match for him. Half our ships are already gone. All right, space cops. But you're gonna owe us big time for this. You will be compensated, Star-Lord. Please hurry. Sinceramente, hay decisiones que no me gusta tomar porque me siento culpable, aunque sea un videojuego, pero me siento mal. Pero como queremos ver las decisiones distintas, lo que voy a hacer, aunque no me guste, pero vamos a tomar distintas elecciones, ¿de acuerdo? Para ver si realmente cambia la historia o no. Creo que, creo que es lo interesante realmente en este aspecto de volver a rejugar tomando decisiones alternas, distintas, básicamente. Planeta sin identificar. Peter. Looks like death out there. Business as usual. I'm not complaining. Bueno, ahí está mi futura esposa. No la miréis mucho, que soy celoso. Ojo, menos mal, menos mal que no, no estaba sujetando el mando. ¿En serio? ¿Ha tenido tiempo de parar el Walkman? No, no lo he parado. Raúl de Veloz, como siempre. And fixed. Onto the next disaster. And that is where to begin. Rusters fried, compilers spit now carbon. Oh, and now groups on fire. <laughs> El escritor, vamos. Peter. <laughs> vamos, vamos, vamos. Apágate. Pobrecito. I am Groot. Oh, Groot says thanks. 
you're all here, who the hell is flying my ship? Recordemos que tengo los subtítulos activados en el máximo tamaño que permite el juego para vuestro disfrute personal, ya que sé que algunos me veis desde dispositivos eh, móviles, eh, tablets, etc. Y espero que así no tengáis problemas. Thanos Nemesis. Okay, but let's worry about not getting killed before we kill him. We are on a spaceship, not a train. Move, <laughs> No es literal, eh. No, 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 es muy literal. No, no, no entiendo el sarcasmo. Mira las expresiones. Lo he dicho, voy a intentar que todas las decisiones sean distintas. Eso no, no quita que me equivoque en alguna y elija la misma que elegí en su momento, ¿vale? Sobre todo las, las decisiones más importantes, que son cinco, intentaré que sean distintas. I am Groot. Uy, casi fallo otra vez. All right, guys. Let me show you how it's done. Marvel Guardianes de la Galaxia de Telltale Series. Sí, señor, buena presentación. Nos han dejado un poquito colgados, ¿no? I am Groot. No, no. That was absolutely not fun, you stupid log. Uh, anybody dead? <sighs> okay, good. Where is the other green one? Uh, wishing we had better seatbelts. Still breathing. Ah, perdón, que estaba, estaba mirando el ordenador y no me he dado cuenta. Luno, get me down, get me down! My sweet, precious little baby! There's an infant on our ship? Well, that can't be good. Where is he? Where is he? Pain! Get down here! I mean, up here! Whatever! <laughs> Pobrecito, no llega. Stupid, stubby little arms! Would you calm down, man? You're freaking out is freaking me out. Calm down? We're all gonna be red paste in a second if you don't help me. Careful with that. Siempre tarda, eh. Tocas el joystick y tarda unos cuantos segundos en hacerte caso, eh. Give it. El control. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Falta poco, eh. Still looks like it'll blow up to me. It sure ain't no toy. We get pushed around by a lot of dangerous jerks. I built this bad boy to push back. <laughs> ain't she a beaut? She's still a little unstable. Yeah, well, Rocket, you almost killed us with that thing. Well, I didn't count on you crashing the ship into a friggin' planet. <sighs> so this is how I die. The mad titan arrives. He is heading towards those ruins. Looks like the Nova Corps failed. It's up to us to take him down. Just the five of us. And that gun. <laughs> Esto puede ser interesante, chicos, ya veréis. Según las decisiones que tomemos. Aunque no van a afectar a la historia, la mayoría, pero... Episodio 1. Enredados en la melancolía. Thanos. 
through there. Voy a tenerlos por aquí o qué? Smell his evil stench. Sí. door is not gonna budge so easily. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay, so this gun ain't totally, you know, operational yet. And it only has one shot. But think of it as a feature. Yeah. I mean, you can't harness enough energy to atomize a biggish moon. Vamos a hablar con esto aunque no le va a gustar nada. Some drawbacks. You know, Rocket, that that seems like a major design flaw. So's your face, <laughs> Will. Man, that was terrible. Hmm. Hmm. Now, let's see. Ahí estamos. Think I see a way over. Tread lightly, Star Lord. Thanos must not detect our presence. I'm not going to tread at all. Se apagan los cascos y no sé por qué. No lo entiendo. Si tienen batería. Vale, disculpar. Estaba encendiendo los cascos. Oh, hey, easy there, shifty. Muy bien, pues para adelante como los de Alicante. Con mucho cuidadito, porque se nos puede quedar encima si no tenemos cuidado. Star Lord, what do your red eyes see? Cuidador. Uf, que faltó poco. Madre mía. Si no llego a estar atento, me quedé como un sello. Literalmente. Peter, are you injured? Say something. Algo. Oh, my spine. It is in so many more pieces now. Oh, don't be so dramatic. <risa> Cómo molaría que este juego estuviera doblado al castellano, eh, con un buen doblaje. Qué pena. Aunque bueno, eso no creo que pase nunca. En este caso, o al menos en los próximos años. Oh no, es Magneto, Dios mío. No, es Magneto, tranquilos. Yeah, um, they're all dead. Hang on. Vamos a ver si puedo abrir la puerta. Sí, sí, gírate. Vamos a ver si podemos abrir. No. Worth a shot. Echar un vistazo. How's it look from over there, Peter? This thing is really solid. I'm gonna need something heavy duty to punch through. Well, keep looking. We're counting on you. Muy bien, pues venga, vamos directamente a ver a la nave si podemos. Man, I broke the hell out of this thing. Bueno, lo he dicho. Como hemos visto lo que ha pasado en el, en el capítulo principal, vamos a avanzar un poco rápido porque no tiene mucho sentido que perdamos tiempo. Cuando sabemos indirectamente que tenemos que ir a esta nave En el resto de cuerpos no hay nada, ¿vale? Por si os lo preguntáis, en los cuerpos no hay absolutamente nada de interés Vamos a bajar, vamos a, in a inspeccionar eh, la nave Uh, hey now That could do some damage You there? What's up? What's going on over there, man? I found a crash Nova Corps ship Right smack through the wall yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I think its guns can blast the door open, but I can't get into the cockpit. Check the side. Should be an access override panel. They uh might have stripped one of these ships for parts before. Found the panel, but I can't get it open. Yeah, you're gonna need an override chip to access it. Perfecto. Maybe I can figure out who was in charge. Well, I've got the time scanner. Vale. El chip manual se supone que está en lo más alto. Yo no sé si podemos pillarlo directamente. Voy a intentarlo, ¿vale? Ahí está, se supone. 
Recordar que ya me pasé esto la semana pasada, obviamente, y por eso sé lo que hay que hacer. Tenéis la serie original en la descripción del vídeo en la que me lo tomo con más calma y lo exploramos y lo descubrimos todo. Pero en este caso, como podemos ir un poquito más a saco, es tontería perder tiempo cuando sé perfectamente que en los cuerpos no hay absolutamente nada y que la información que nos marcan en las paredes es meramente... bueno, no, no, no es relativa para nada. Así que vamos a aterrizar. Y... a ver... Abrimos, colocamos el chip Vale, pues no Tengo que directamente darle a colocar el chip Pensaba que me dejarían ah, Amigo, vale hey, Surprise. Why should I be surprised? <risa> Me moría de ganas de hacer esto, chicos. Espero que no haya leídos. Por favor. Yes, that was surprising. This is a Cree temple. They are a technologically advanced species, strong of body, powerful of military. What is Thanos even doing here? What does he want with this place? Guess we'll find out. I know one thing for certain. I gotta get this thing working, or we're all dead. I'm almost done tinkering. Promise. Just a little more calibrating and this baby will sing. That gun better be worth all the trouble. Have I ever built anything less than incredible? I am... That's right. The answer is no. <laughs> hey, I think this can take us down. If the controls aren't too damaged. Eh, no big deal, Gams. I can undamage them. Groot says he's worried we bit off more than we can chew. Ah, why don't you relax, you big wooden baby? We're just going deeper into the old creepy temple. More than I could chew? Ha! Yeah, you put something in this mouth, and I'm gonna chew it. I'm gonna chew it so hard that you... Peter, stop. There. Good as new. The time has come. Either Thanos falls, or we do. On my planet... Before a great battle, our fearless leader would rally the troops with his words. Es hora del discursito, ¿no? De turno. I, uh, I, uh, am not a professional <laughs> speech guy, so... Your humbleness makes you appear cowardly. I shall try to forget this. Ya sabéis que aunque no nos guste, hay que tomar distintas elecciones. Buen plano, ¿eh? Por cierto. Muy épico. Poco lento, ¿no? En el anterior silbé. Vamos a ver qué hacemos aquí. Okay, somebody say something. This is very, very uncomfortable. I am root. <laughs> Good one, pal. Childish insults. I would expect as much from you. 
Now that I have this, I shall roll through the galaxy like a great wave, crushing the bones of every inhabitant and the civilizations of every planet I pass. Uh, oh, let me guess. It's an ancient super weapon. Or something. The Eternity Forge. Called it! Daughter, you have aligned yourself with such pathetic creatures. I was never your daughter. Then you will die an adversary. Oh, shut your damn mouth. We're done chit-chatting. One by one, you will Tranquilos, pay que no lo va a recordar durante mucho tiempo. Parece un caballero de zodiaco, eh, casi. Madre mía, Willy. No llego a estar atento y me deja como un... Give me a few more seconds. Perrito Shut caliente. My turn. ¿Cómo me la esto, tío? This is for my wife and daughter. Eh, eh, lo he tocado se supone, ¿eh? que conste. Always were the ungrateful one. You're right. Thanks for training me to kill. I'll put it to good use. Madre mía, súper chungo darle rápido, tío. Hay que estar muy atento, eh, pero muy atento. Pues si acaso siempre machaco el botón varias veces Porque a veces tocas y no es como si no funcionara bien ¿sabes? Yo no sé si es que lo hago mal o lo hago lento Pero por eso toco, toco rápido Varias veces y así me aseguro que Que no falle You took everything from me I removed your weakness I gave you purpose Atención Madre mía, el sonido es buenísimo Thanos Oh, ya. Bien, hombre, bien. He fallado, creo ahí, eh. He tocado, pero no sé por qué me ha fallado. It's done. It's ready. Then use it. No weapon can kill me, Vermin. <laughs> Vamos. Uh, come on. Clear shot. Salta, vamos. Ah, ah, ya. Yeah. Vámonos. Gotcha. Va a ser que no, amigo mío. Y sería imposible de esquivar, ya os lo digo, eh. Por si os lo preguntáis. No me lo esperaba. What is this mechanical nonsense? Why are there three triggers? Peter! Uf, qué justo, eh, chaval. Muy buena esa imagen. I'm ending this. Bien, hombre, bien. 
You are a waste of life. Vamos, date prisa. Qué tensión, Dios mío. Y mira que ya me lo he pasado, pero. You have failed. The guardians of the galaxy. You cannot even guard yourselves. The galaxy is mine. Smile, you son of a... Un aplauso. Vamos a comprobar que esté muerto. No podemos fiarnos. Nunca se sabe. Me encanta la chaqueta de, de Star Lord, ¿eh? No way. <laughs> I, I I can't believe it, guys, but he's dead. I guess this relic is useless. Huh. <laughs> But this gun wasn't! Who dead? You dead! Who? Rocket, you quit it! Dead? Stop it, both of you! Enough! <laughs> We are victorious. The biggest terror the galaxy has ever known. Is no more. I am Groot. I. I never thought this would happen. Yeah. What do we do now? Y el tío bebiendo ahí en esa copa, ¿no? Qué grande. Ooh boy! Only top shelf booze for the man who killed Thanos. I've got some thousand year old Centaurian ale. Been saving it for a day like this. Hey, drinks for my team. Five drinks coming right up. <sighs> I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. <laughs> believe it. If it weren't for all this, the Guardians fighting Thanos. Do you think we still would have ended up together? All of us. Do you think we would have been friends? You did attack me the first time we met, so, uh... Yeah, I have my doubts. <laughs> yeah, you make a good point. I'm not apologizing for that, by the way. You have to admit, we aren't the most likely group of friends. Ah, 
Without Thanos, we might just end up driving each other crazy. I mean, with Drax and Rocket. Even I might have a bit of a temper. Sometimes. <laughs> it's a miracle we haven't murdered each other already. Yeah, I see what you mean. Having a common enemy, well, <laughs> it sure didn't hurt. That doesn't mean it's hopeless, though. Honestly, we all stay because of you, Peter. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Bueno, vamos a ver si podemos continuar. Ahora viene algo interesante. Creo que ahora viene la, la primera lección importante, ¿vale? Que tenemos que tomar. Peter Quill, watch as I consume this toxic liquid. <laughs> hey, Drax, pace yourself, buddy. Yes. You are wise. The more I pace myself, the longer I can consume this burning fluid. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. I have long dreamt of this moment. They'd be proud of you, Drax. Thanos can't hurt anyone else's family. And that is because of you. I can find solace in that statement. I was not there to save my family before. But now that I have exterminated Thanos, my redemption is complete. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot's totally right. He said Peter killed Thanos, not you, big guy. Nonsense. Clearly, I got my revenge. Didn't see. My it. hands are too strong. I would break such a puny device. Uh, technically, uh, you know, I was the one that shot Thanos, but, uh... I expect this from the tree and rodent, but from you... No me gusta nada tener que decir esto, chicos, pero tenía que tomar la otra lección para ver lo que pasaba. To celebrate. Aunque he subido a juego, pero me sienta mal, en serio, me, me, me sabe yes, mal. Yes, yes, this is the gun that blew a hole in Thanos, but no... You can't do shots on me. Tranquilos que ahora le toca al mapache. Hey, Rocket. So, as I was saying, I built this brilliant, beautiful piece of machinery with my own two hands. I can tell you're impressed by my uh, technological virility. Ain't nobody in the universe can do what I do, especially not any of you chumps. <laughs> you're just lucky I'm a good shot. Ooh! Ooh! And you're lucky this gun ain't got another <laughs> charge. What is your problem, Quill? We just killed the biggest bad guy in the universe, and you can't even let me enjoy it for one second? Nah, I don't need this. Maybe me and Groot should go back to being just a duo. Focus on the stuff Al final me quedo solo en la nave, eh. Ya veréis. Money. What good is saving the galaxy if you won't even share the credit? I don't have to be here, you know. Rocket, look, I, I'm sorry. You know what? Okay, I save it. There's plenty to drink back on the ship. Rocket, come on. You all wouldn't last a week without me. Vaya humos, eh. I am Groot. So, do you want to leave too, Groot? I am Groot. Aquí estaba un poco indeciso. Bueno, he dicho que no. Pero estaba un poco indeciso. No sabía qué decir realmente. Es que ya múltiples opciones. Tener en cuenta que estas, estas normales no afectan a la historia. Las que afectan son las cinco importantes que hay a lo largo del... del episodio. Ahora viene otra decisión importante, creo.
We just killed Thanos. Why aren't you celebrating? Not really in the mood. It's just... It's been a... complicated day. How about a refill? Why not? On my way. Gracias. Atención a esto, chicos. You disrespectful human! How dare you! Hey! Watch where you're going. Same to you, Star Lord. Guess not everyone's a fan. At least I managed not to drop this. My hero. I try. Thanos murdered your people. I, I thought you'd be happier once he was gone. He was a monster, yes. But he was also my family. I can't make sense of it. Oh, come on, forget Thanos. He's dead. You're not. You deserve to have some fun. Don't make light of this, Peter. He will always be a part of who I am. I keep thinking about Nebula. Your sister? I called her that. We both called Thanos father. He used to force us to fight to prove who was worthy of being called his daughter. I won. We couldn't stop until there was blood on the ground. Maybe you should have let her win. I thought about it. But the idea of showing weakness in front of Thanos wasn't going to happen. Neb stabbed me while I was sleeping because I won. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. She loved him, I think. In her own way. It might take some time. But she will forgive you. I imagine I'll have a matching scar to go with this one first. There's a small part of me that wants to see my sister again. But when she finds out what we did, she's gonna lose her mind. She'll hunt us all down and kill us. You don't know Nebula. Bueno, aquí viene otra lección importante. Imagine me, but angrier. Vamos a elegir la distinta a la que elegimos en la serie principal. Look, just leave her alone. That would be the safe bet. Besides, I wouldn't mind starting fresh. To moving on. To moving on. Al futuro, será por el futuro. Ya sabemos que la traducción de este juego no es perfecta, al menos no ha habido errores de traducción como en otros juegos, que estaban medio en inglés, en portugués, en su agili. Rocket might also be mad at me. This should be good. Fiesta, ¿no? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Ah, uh, why? We got a big, big problem. Okay. Not my fault. I barely consumed my body weight in that toxic liquid. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Oh, I don't care who ordered all the drinks. We need to figure out how to pay our tab. Well, I do have a solution to that problem. Even Captain Killjoy over here is gonna love it. In fact, it's so good, he'll probably take all the credit for it after. Like killing Thanos. Whatever it is, I already don't like it. Rude. You're making the rest of the human race look like jerks, pal. We're gonna sell Thanos' body! I am Rude. <laughs> that is... Not a bad idea. Selling a corpse? How could that be profitable? There are people who would find it valuable. 
Exactly. And I know just the guy. The Collector. He loves buying exotic crap for his museum, so Thanos, the newly dead Titan, will be perfect. He'll pay you tons of units for that body. These are the kind of people you want to be rubbing elbows with, Pete. I love everything about this. And I love you for loving it. Or we could turn Thanos over to the Nova Corps. They've had an official bounty on his head for years. Plus, it comes with the added benefit of not having to deal with criminals, like the Collector. He's a corrupt thug, bottom line. But the Nova Corps, they maintain peace and order in the galaxy. Hey, we're not exactly saints ourselves, Gamora. I'm not judging. There's a difference between us and the Collector. Yeah, we're, we're broke. And the only way to get unbroke is by selling Thanos to him. Guys, we just killed the biggest, baddest criminal in history. We shouldn't turn right around and become one ourselves. <sighs> Working with the Nova Corps is the right thing to do. You're being a greedy little rodent right now. Oh, as if you're so high and mighty, green lady. You suddenly forgot all the innocent people you murdered for that psycho? I remember each and every one. Not that you'd understand. Nos ponemos del lado de, de Rocket ahora, ¿vale? Rocket's only trying to help. Peter, the Nova Corps would make capable allies. Don't let this miscreant convince you otherwise. Pete's smart. He don't need convincing. It's Peter's call, Rocket. Not yours. Bueno, le hemos liado bien, ¿eh? Ahora vamos a hacer una cosa. Directamente tenemos que hablar con... Con Rocket y con Gomorra. Gamora, que manía tengo con llamarla Gomorra. Estuvimos en Sodoma y Gomorra. <ríe> eh, vamos a. A ver. Hey, Rocket. Hey, uh. Listen. I kinda maybe overreacted yesterday. Thanks for having my back with Gamora. I'm sorry about everything that went down at the bar. I get like that sometimes. Just got a lot on my mind, you know? Look, I'm sorry about what I said, too. We cool? Yeah, I guess. So what's up, my main man? How you holding up, buddy? Yeah, my liver's trying to shake me from the inside out. I've never had so many free drinks in my life. Living in a post-Thanos world, on the other hand, maybe it won't be so bad. Some time off would be a welcome change. So, you made up your mind. You're really leaving, then. Look, man, two days ago I was getting shot at. Last night I was getting shots. Know what I mean? We're famous. I gotta take advantage. Step one, sell Thanos. Step two, fling money into air. <laughs> Muy bien, vamos a irnos. Las otras dos opciones ya las vimos en la serie principal. Be an idiot. Thanos is worth a fortune. Call the collector. Por supuesto, obviamente. Si en la serie principal ya vamos a al cuerpo nueva, en esta vamos a a ir al coleccionista, obviamente. Quiero ver cómo es y ver lo que ocurre realmente, aunque se va a ser muy parecido. Incluso puede que sea en el mismo sitio que entreguemos el cuerpo en el mismo sitio donde lo entregamos a al cuerpo nueva. No sé, vamos a comprobarlo. Hey Peter. No me gusta discutir con ella, me siento fatal en serio. Fine. Staying as far away from Rocket as I can. Oh, he and Drax are really in a mood today. Whatever you said to them last night really got under their skin. So, something on your mind? You still worried about vamos a bajar un momento ahora si nos dejan vamos a hablar con Drax un momentito antes de decidir lo del coleccionista vale porque tendría que haber hablado con él no lo he pensado you were right I should focus on the future hey what are friends for <laughs> stopping one another from drinking too much we both failed that mission I guess I'll talk to you later. 
Some advice for you. Don't trust the collector. You should call the Nova Corps. Gracias por el consejo. Lo he dicho, vamos a bajar un momentito si nos, si nos lo permiten en un minuto. Y vamos a, a hablar con Drax un segundito solo a ver si hay alguna opción distinta. No sé por qué se me apagan los cascos todo el rato, me estoy ya cabreando. Vamos a ver. A ver si podemos disculparnos por lo menos, ¿no? Que lo recuerde. Así no me siento culpable. Hey, Drax. Quill. Espero que no me haga un agujero About en el pecho. Do you truly mean what you implied? That I did not earn my vengeance. Yeah. No, of course you earned it. Like, like ten times over. It was a team effort taking Thanos down. Yes. Yes, that is logical. Thank you, Peter. All right. Take care of yourself, buddy. Muy bien, simplemente quería hablar con él, aunque lo importante es la decisión que hemos tomado en primera estancia, la decisión importante, aunque ahora le hagamos la pelota y le pidamos disculpas, eso no va a contar, lo que va a contar es lo que hemos dicho en, en primera estancia, básicamente, ¿vale? Así que ahora vamos a, a darle a lo del de coleccionista, básicamente. En la terminal principal ya sabréis que hay distintos mensajes que, como os he comentado, ya vimos en la serie principal. Así que básicamente vamos a pasar de leerlos y directamente vamos a llamar al cuerpo Nova. Eh, al, al cuerpo Nova, no, perdón, al coleccionista, ¿vale? Que casi la lío. Eh, coleccionista. ¿Cómo I mean, bad the collector be? Greetings, I'm Vili, the collector's representative. I, uh, heard you guys might be in the market for the biggest threat the galaxy has ever known. You have Thanos? The Mad Titan? Got his big purple corpse right here. My boss has significant resources and could pay handsomely for such a rare specimen. So long as the body is in museum quality condition, of course. Such as no signs of advanced decomposition, excessive damage to the face or skeleton. Well, besides, you know, being dead. Thanos never looked better. Very well. Then we can make a deal. Send me your coordinates and I'll be there shortly with some associates to examine the specimen personally. Associates? Just make sure the body is there. A ver si cuela lo que está en buen estado. Me da a mí que se va a enfadar un poco serious? con nosotros. Dealing with the collector? That's a dangerous path we're going down. And I have a feeling it's not going to end well. It really does with creeps like him. I made this decision to benefit us. Okay, all of us. And our wallets. This is not about money, Peter. It's about building relationships. The Nova Corps could have helped us out. Consider this side of the argument, Gamora. Money. Money. These people do not mess around, Peter. When they see the hole in that body. Don't worry, Gamora. Listen, I'll throw in that relic. Okay, it'll help sweeten the deal. Hey, that's a great idea. And we can get even more units. <laughs> oh, come on. Where did I put that thing? Vale, estamos buscando el cáliz este, si no me equivoco. El ah. cáliz de fuego. <laughs> El cáliz de la eternidad. Suena mejor. ¿Pero qué? Esta fue mi primera reacción. ¡Peter! Tierra. 1987. boy. Violence isn't the answer to every problem. Are you listening to me? If I let him push me around, it'll only get worse. You're right. You should stand up for yourself. But you need to find a way to do that without getting suspended. You gave me this for my birthday. 
I mean, you should be pissed off too. <coughs> and what he did was wrong, but, but you, you don't just go punching every person who makes you mad. Especially not someone who's three grades above you. I mean, that kid practically shaves. What? I could have taken him. Uh, uh, don't get cocky, kid. I'm thinking from the look of things, he took you. This can't keep happening, Peter. I know I haven't been home as much lately, but that's all the more reason I need you to step up and take some responsibility. I know. Then you know tomorrow you're apologizing to that boy. And I mean a real apology. No smart Alex stuff. I'm not apologizing to him. That guy was an a-hole! Peter! Language! I only said a, mom. Come on. Uh -huh. Iba a decir pendejo. Esa palabra no la usamos en España, pero bueno. You're making it real hard to see your side of this. When you act this way, it's like you're only thinking of yourself. What we need is a little perspective. Me da mucha pena tener que ser un poco malo y responder así a mi madre en este caso, en la vida real nunca lo haría, pero ya sabéis que estamos tomando las decisiones alternativas y aunque nos duela, tenemos que hacerlo así para ver si la historia cambia realmente. Hermoso, precioso. These last few months haven't been easy for either of us, but um I'm not always going to be here. I worry about you. Esto me va a doler, ¿vale? Pero You're growing up so fast. Don't worry about me, mom. I'll never stop worrying about you. You're going to be around long after I'm gone. I just don't want you to be alone. <coughs> mom? <coughs> I'm fine, baby. It's nothing. <coughs> It's just the dust. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. Esto es lo que os decía que me va a doler. No puedo prometerle eso. En el otro, I can't promise. La otra lección la le dije que sí, pero ahora. What's gonna happen next time? Well, try. For me. ¿Veis que aquí ha puesto... Aquí no ha puesto lo recordará porque obviamente no creo que le quede mucho tiempo, desgraciadamente. Es triste, pero... Así son las cosas. You fixed it. How? What can I say, huh? I'm pretty good. Hey. <laughs> oh, great song. Someone with exceptional taste must have introduced you to this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Otro temazo, chicos. Living a Thing de la banda Elo. Electric Light Orchestra. What? The relic will show you the way. Hey! Hey, huh? hey! Hello! You losing it or something? Ha cambiado. En la versión anterior era, era Gamorra la que nos decía. You okay? Hey, be careful with that. What? I'm just holding it. Relax. You've been standing here for hours talking to this thing. Hours? Yeah. Oh, the collector's serio? guys are waiting for us. Don't tell me you forgot. Okay. Supongo que ahora vendrá con nosotros Rocket uh, y que Gamora se quedará yeah. en la nave. Hey, you okay to go out there? You look like you just seen a ghost. I can't have you going out there all crazy-eyed in front of them. I think I did, actually. I mean, I... You saw a ghost, all right? Maybe you are losing it. When I grabbed the relic, I... I was suddenly back on Earth. And my mom was there. Isn't she dead? I know, I, I know, I know she is. I just... Somehow it didn't feel that way. Sounds like I'm not the only one who needs a break. Come on, we shouldn't keep him waiting. You still want to sell this thing, or... We are uh... not selling it. Fine, sure. Whatever. All right. 
Showtime. Let's go. ¿Veis? Es un sitio distinto. Mola. Estamos todos. Qué guay. Yo pensé que estaríamos solos yo y Rocket. I must admit, I'm surprised you contacted us. I know your Nova Core connections would disapprove of this decision. They've been trying to shut down our operation for years. Something about the legality of capturing and detaining specimens they will. <sighs> But being displayed in our museum, that is a status of high honor. Ah, oh, you guys are my kind of guys. Shady underworld dealings, trafficking dead bodies. <laughs> Good, clean fun all around. I'm glad you see it our way. Show him to me. What? Y you said the body Oops. never looked better? Nah, I barely noticed it. This is completely unacceptable. I can't bring Thanos' body to the Collector with a giant hole in it! He will kill me, and then he will send people after you. My employer requires all his specimens to be in pristine condition. Not broken, burned, or missing half a torso. This is a damaged good. We had a deal. Well, the deal was for museum quality. You know who wouldn't have worried about this issue? Huh. The Nova Corps. You know who should shut up? Here's the new deal, Star-Lord. I'm taking the Mad Titan. Given the condition of his body, the Collector himself will need to personally appraise it. Only then will he authorize payment. If you wish to be compensated, you will agree to these terms. It would be foolish to argue. No, 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 wait, we'll... we'll take the body. As is. Hmm. You aren't the pushovers we suspected you to be. Is he? The Collector respects that. We consider this an investment in a very profitable future. No me gusta nada hacer esto, en serio os lo digo, eh. No me gusta nada. And that is how you make money. You, PQ, are my personal hero. Up top. Peter Quill. Hombre. We must finish what we started. I cannot delay any longer. My leader demands it. I am Groot? Don't know what the hell he's blabbing on about. If you want me to punch you in the face, then... Yeah, standing in my way is a good place to start. You cannot fight us all. <laughs> all? You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. And since Jinzar could not retrieve it earlier, I must take it myself. I will not fail you again, Hala. Atentos, eh? She an ex-girlfriend of yours? I know you dated some crazies, but this is a whole nother level. You know, she's not really my type. Well, you seem to be her type. Both of you shut up and start fighting back. I'll protect the money. Rocket! Vaya tela. Retrieve the relic. Vámonos, hombre. Movimiento, movimiento, movimiento. Perfecto. Yo me esperaba eso de Clut, eh. En serio, no me esperaba eso de Clut. Uh, ja, ja. How do you like that? 
Perdón, de Groot, de, de Rocket, Dios mío Es que estoy aquí Ahí estamos, atención Me siento como Iron Man, eh Venga, hombre, suéltame Pesado Ha costado, eh Madre mía hey. Corre, muévete Esta parte ha cambiado bastante ¿eh? Respecto a lo... Bueno, esta parte concreta no, pero la que hemos visto antes Ha cambiado respecto a la original, eh Oye, estoy tocando yo este caso adelante, muévete, hombre Que eres más lento Con Coracol con Reuma No, no, hey, hey. We have what we came for. We need the ship. The engines are down. It's gonna take a minute. We can't wait. They're getting away. I'm coming with you. There's only one pack. Allow me to fight beside. Bueno, otra lección importante, chicos. En la anterior elegimos a Gomora. Ahora tenemos que elegir a Drax. Kill these blue warriors. The size of that warship. You can't fight your way through that. Take me, and they'll never even know we were there. Let us paint her ship red with. Tengo que llevar a Drax. From the inside. Suit up, Drax. You and your blades are with me. I shall be a worthy, violent ally. Don't let him do anything stupid. Esta parte está muy chula. Veamos si es más o menos igual, que yo creo que sí. Vale, pensé que tenía que disparar, eh. Estaba a punto de fallar. Hey guys, kind of busy, Rocket. You need to know this. That ship you're heading towards, it's Cree, commanded by someone named Hala the Accuser. Cree. I heard none of them survived the destruction of their planet. You ain't wrong. That ship, those people, shouldn't exist. Well, I'm looking right at them. A la de tres. Vamos. Drax. You are my savior, Quill. I get that a lot. Para eso están los amigos, hombre. Looks clear. Parece. Those cowards are hiding from us. ¿En serio? Fight me. Quiet tracks. They're gonna hear us. Si no son, si no les han oído ya. Stealth. I have heard of this concept. Eso me pasa por traer a este. Every warrior you have. I am ready for death. Show yourselves. Hey, Drax, is uh, is everything okay? <sighs> no. Let's just find Hala and get that relic back. Avancemos. 
Muy bien. Rocket. ¿Puedo hablar mientras ando? Sí, ¿no? Hey, Gamora, how, how you guys holding up? I should ask you the same. We're safe and sound on nowhere. You're inside an enemy warship. Ah, don't worry. I'm keeping Drax safe. I hear your lies, Quill. Bueno, Drax lo tenemos aquí, así que no hace falta. Huh? What the hell? Those are pictures of. Whoa. going through something here, but I need you to get it together. As you command, let us continue on. Dejaros continuar. Bueno, veamos a ver. La centralita principal de la computadora del ordenador en España. Puh, Cree. I cannot read the infantile scribblings of this so-called language. I can. Tranquilos, que tenemos el traductor de Google. The bridge. Hala's got to be there, which means that's where the relic is. Vale, genial. Power diverted to access way. 36 stasis pods now off. Tengo el sonido tan alto de los cascos que no sé si estoy hablando bajo o fuerte. Whoa. My bad. Do not feel bad. The dead cannot become more dead. Pobrecito. Vamos a echar un vistazo. I am too muscular to fit. ¿En serio? Y que tenemos que ir por la puerta principal entonces. Entonces sí que va a cambiar la cosa, ¿no? Oh, qué fuerte, chicos. Oh, yep. Here we go. Sí, señor, es la hora de las tortas. Me ha gustado esto, oye, que sea distinto. A ver, tampoco es que sea un cambio brutal, pero You are welcome. De nada. You're welcome. All right. Let's Okay. Now. Come on. ¿En serio? Ha sido un poco raro ese tiro, ¿no? Ha tirado como de lado y le ha ido el tiro directo. Pues acaso. Let's go get the relic. <laughs> Make haste, Star Lord. We must reach the bridge and slaughter everyone in our path. Who is next to die? Do not worry, sweet one. You shall be back by my side soon. Once we return home, the process can begin. Few survive an encounter with me and return for more. Peter Quill. It's pronounced Star Lord. Ahora viene otra cosa importante. Me la voy a jugar, eh. 
Me la voy a jugar y mucho. Easy to remove his head. Do not test me. I see you care little for your friends. Me la he jugado demasiado. Menos mal. Así que es su hijo, eh. I have been searching for so long. Is that who you were talking to? Your son? I thought he was lost. I thought they all were. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have no idea what this means to me. To the Kree. Our rightful place in the stars shall be restored. Your people, they... They're all dead. That relic can't help them. Not if the myths are true. You really do not know how this works, do you? The forge requires a sacrifice. Would you kill someone to bring a loved one back? Yes, I would. As would I. Billions of Kree have died. Bringing them all back will require many sacrifices. I will not rest. Until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Así que esto tiene que pasar sí o sí. Es inevitable. Y comprensible. ¿Qué tal rescate? I'm coming in. Hang tight for an ace. Nos volveremos a ver seguramente. Gravely injured. Pete! Peter! What happened? Are you. I am Groot? I don't know, buddy. I hope so. Hey, guys. You should have been there to protect him, Drax. This is your fault. You would have fared no better, Green Witch. And you, Rodan. <laughs> Green Witch. What took you so long? Yeah, go on. Blame it by rescue. I'm Groom. Peter. 
Peter, no. Y así es como muere Star Lord, chicos. Lo recordaremos como un héroe. Es broma. Ahí está, tranquilos. I'll give you some time to say goodbye. You know, your mom would smack you upside the head. She saw you and over like this. Quills ain't no little babies. The hell do you know, mister? You don't know my mom, and you don't know me. I know a lot more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> you better pull it together, boy. Because I'm the closest thing you got to family right now. Now let's get. I don't want to be on this planet any longer than I have to. What the hell are you? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't you got a scrot on you? The name's Yandu Udanta. Your ma wrote me into taking care of you if something ever happened. Something happened. Now, you can come with me easy. Or am I gonna have a fight on my hands? Vamos a probar con el modo difícil. Won't do you much good. You're a bony little scrap of nothing. I can take you without needing to lift a finger. If I go with you, what's in it for me? Not being alone, you'll be part of my crew. So what's it gonna be? I I'm not going anywhere with you. I know. Come here. Uh, hey, you keep <laughs> this up. Tenía que probarlo, chicos. What? Vamos, hombre, anda. Que, que estoy dando para adelante y no anda. Veamos de qué se trata. Star Lord. I'm here to help you. It'll be all right. Help me? How? I'll show you soon enough. Mom? Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. Bueno chicos, y así es como termina el primer episodio de Guardianes de la Galaxia, el primer episodio de la primera temporada, enredados en la melancolía. A mí personalmente me ha encantado, eh, me ha gustado mucho rejugarme el episodio porque de esta forma hemos podido ver las distintas opciones y estoy pensando que en los próximos episodios, si veo que apoyáis un poquito este vídeo, voy a hacer lo mismo. En todos los episodios vamos a jugarlos dos veces tomando las distintas opciones. Es gracioso... Que... Ah, claro, ¿veis? La opción verde es la que hemos tomado nosotros, que ha sido la que menos gente ha elegido. Eh, pasemos a la siguiente. Que va a ser más de lo mismo, ¿veis? 
Obviamente las estadísticas han aumentado porque cuando me lo pasé acababa de salir el episodio y había menos gente todavía que había elegido nuestras opciones. En este caso es interesante ver lo que ha elegido la gente. La promesa. De verdad que esto me ha sabido súper mal, me ha dado mucha pena, pero había que hacerlo, chicos, para ver si había algún cambio relevante. Han sido los cambios más... Eh, más... Eh... Más sustanciales de lo que yo pensaba en un principio. Pensaba que serían menos, eh, menos relativos, la verdad, pero ha sido interesante. Y bueno, básicamente, con esto, mmm, persiguiendo al enemigo, lo mismo. Está sanando un tema que también tendréis en la descripción del vídeo, que es el tema el Living, eh, Living Thing de ELO, Electronic, eh, Electric Light eh, Orquesta. Eh, lo podéis escuchar en la descripción del vídeo, así lo deseáis, ¿de acuerdo? Y bueno, yo espero que os haya gustado esto, voy a subir el episodio completo en un solo vídeo y tomando decisiones alternativas, ya me diréis en, las, en los comentarios qué os ha parecido que haga esto y sobre todo, qué os ha molado más, la serie principal o la secundaria. Yo sinceramente me quedo con la serie principal, aunque quizás hubiera, hubiera molado tomar alguna cosa de las eh, opcionales. Pero bueno, darme vuestra opinión al respecto en los comentarios si os ha molado, ya sabéis que podéis apoyar puntuando en me gusta y compartiendo para que suba los demás episodios en este formato. Gracias como siempre por verme y aguantarme, un saludo y ahora os dejo con lo que veremos en el próximo episodio. Disfrutarlo. <coughs> Heroes of the galaxy. Partyers of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, but the thing about this place? It never stays guarded for long. As soon as Hala found out we had the Eternity Forge, we shot up to Numero Uno on her murder list. Yes, dying hurt. A lot. What kind of question is that? Mm, I am Yeah, you know what, buddy? Why don't I feel these questions? Since we're putting this on record, it was a brilliant idea to pawn off Thanos. We got paid the big bucks, the Collector has a brand new exhibit, everyone's happy. Except Gamora, but she's never happy. Oh, ho, Quill's been a pain in my ass since day one. Since minute one when he came aboard my ship. Soon as he showed up at my hideout, I could tell he got himself in some kind of trouble. The Kree ain't folks you want to mess with. I thought I could keep my distance from Nebula. Avoid a confrontation with her. I was wrong. Once she found out what the Eternity Forge could do, everything it could do, there was no stopping her. I'm gonna use an Earth analogy here, so just bear with me. The Guardians were like the Beatles. I'm John, Gamora is Paul, Rocket is Ringo, Drax is George, and Groot, well... Well, Groot is just Groot. It's, it's, it's not a perfect analogy, all right? <laughs> we yell, sure. We fight. But damn, do we make beautiful music. I just hope I can keep the band together. Or this galaxy doesn't stand a chance. <laughs>